Saint John Paul II, who is uh, the great uh, beloved Pope, no, in uh, postmodern times, no, at uh, siya ang uh, papa na halos uh, most traveled, no, all over the world, no, at uh, namatay siya no, no, April 2, no, kaya tayo ay mayroong uh, relic, no, dito, uh, primary relic, no, ni Saint John Paul II for veneration, no, upang tayo na mananampalataya ay mapalapit sa Diyos no, sa tulong ng isang uh, taong naging huwaran ng uh, katapatan sa Diyos kabutihan at kabanalan sa Holy Week na papasok no? napakaganda na magnilay tayo sa ating buhay no? sa ating relasyon sa Diyos no? sapagkat lahat naman ay sa Diyos no? God is the source of all our supply no? pinubos tayo ni Kristo sa kasalanan no? tayo ay tagumpay na no dahil si Kristo ay nagtagumpay na sa pamamagitan ng relic na ito no mapalapit tayo sa Diyos no sabi nga to know God to love God and to serve God no yan ang, ang mission ng isang Kristiyano sa mundo to be a human to be to be a Christian is to be fully human and fully alive no? the more we become human the more we become divine and the more we become divine the more we become a uh, human no hindi niya hindi pinaghiwalay si St. John Paul II sa kanya mga katuroan no to be holy is to be human and to be human is to be divine Aking inaanihan po natin ang mga mananampalataya lalo-lalo na ngayon no papasok na ang Holy Week no na talagang bigyan natin ng uh, ng uh, ng uh, ng uh, attention no at ng panahon ang ating buhay spiritual sapagkat ang buhay natin wag po nating kalilimutan ang buhay mo ay hindi tungkol sa iyo your life is not about you your life is about God no and during this Holy Week we are uh, we are um, ay in the in in the orchestra no tayo nasa harap no ng dakilang drama ng ating kaligtasan at gaano tayo kamahal ng Diyos sa kanyang dakilang pagkapakasakit pagkamatay at muling pagkabuhay let us show our love for God who loves us no? at ang buhay talaga natin sa totoo lang ay sa Diyos what do you think is the most uh, important lesson you can learn from the life of St. John commandments of love and that was also the topic in my book. Commandments of love is, the first commandment is love God with your whole heart, with your whole mind, with your whole soul, and with your whole strength. And then the second is, like the first, you love your neighbor as you love yourself. So the important thing is, you have to love yourself first. Yourself before you can love others. I, I pray that I will, I will publish the books that I am, I am writing on because I just came from the U.S. to visit my daughter. And uh, I finished what I wanted to finish when I was 16 years old, the Catechism for Children. What, what I learned during Sunday Catechism, I wanted to share with the children. They were very simple. And I finished it in the U.S. So I'm working now on Catechism for All. So that's what I'm praying to Pope John Paul II. I'll finish Catechism for All, so I'll have it published for everybody. This whole week, what is your pinaka-panatan? It's holy work. It's the same for me every day, to love God. Commandments of love all the time. Matagal na. Buhay pa si Pope John Paul. Eh, mula nung nakita ko siya. At saka talagang, I'm very, kasi because of, at saka talagang sa mga santo, at saka kahit di pa siya santo nun. Kasi so many miracles in Rome, they say that when he gave a blessing, so many people are cured. So I really admire him. And he's a very godly man. And so with the lady, he's always at Our Lady of Fatima, Our Lady of Fruits. That's why he's really, I admire him. And he's one of my patron saints. So when he become a saint, the more I prayed, and I prayed for him also, prayed for him when he was the intentions of the Holy Father, and then when he became old already, and he has been a pope for so many years. That's one thing. That's why I really, I really like him, and um, to be my patron saint, and he's my patron saint ever since then.